What's up, y'all? It's your boy E Bay Fight Predictions in the building, and we got some breaking, breaking news. I didn't think I was really gonna do this video, but I got some DMs and some comments, and it felt like I don't know. I was getting uh, persuaded to do a breaking, breaking news video because there were some, uh, I mean, some big fight announcements, you know. So uh, it's gonna be dope, man. Um, but yeah, man, we, let's talk about the first one, though, for the breaker, breaker, breaking news. Uh, Marlon Marais versus Marab da uh, Davishvili for UFC 266. I mean, great fight. Uh, I love the fight. Uh, and since I'm a little late on these, I'll, I'll give you guys an early prediction for all of these. But, um, I mean, I don't know, man. Um, man, Marlon, he has to really look himself in the mirror. And just remember what he used to be. Remember that feeling of winning. Remember what it meant to be a top fighter. And um, and find some motivation. You know, obviously, I'm not saying he's not motivated or he's not working hard. Um, you know, but, you know, he has to win. You know, this is a big fight for him. And this isn't an easy opponent. But based on his resume and based on what he's accomplished... I'm not going to count him out yet, you know. I know the Rob Font fight, that, man, that one it was a bad one for him. But it doesn't mean he's shot. I, I just think he kind of got caught. I think he he wasn't ready for Rob's reach. And um, he did a lot of bad things in terms of IQ. And he made a lot of mistakes. Marab, I mean, I picked Marab. You know me. I haven't picked against Marab. You know, I could have really. I was thinking about picking against him for Cody Stamen, but I, I stuck with him. You know, I knew Aljo had a win over a Cody, so maybe Aljo would be a good training partner for Marab. You know, so that's a good thing for him. Excuse me, by the way. But, um, you know, for Marlon, um, hi, I don't know, man. I, it's not that I'm picking it based on the fact that Marlon does have a win over Marab's training partner. That doesn't, you know, that's not going to matter in this matchup. But, man, Marlon is a good fighter. He's not a bad fighter. Durability-wise, could I see Marab landing a shot? Maybe, man. His strike can look good against Cody. But, uh, man, I'm not I'm not taking Marab in this matchup. I just, um, there's some holes in Marab's game. I've been waiting to pick against him. This is, you know, this is a former, you know, world title challenger. This is a guy that's main event at a pay-per-view. This is a guy that's main event at fight nights. He's beaten legitimate competition. I mean, he, he was really, really good. You know, you know, his World Series of Fighting champion. And I think he needs to bring that guy back that fought in the World Series of Fighting. And just remind Marab that there's levels to this game. And uh, I just feel like his takedown defense, it's a three-rounder too. So it kind of helps him. But it is what it is. But next up in the breaking, breaking, breaking news, Asker Askarov is fighting Alex Perez in a three-round fight July 31st on, on a UFC fight night. I mean, this is a great fight for Perez. I mean, a questionable fight for Askar Askarov because it's like, why is he fighting? Maybe he should be fighting for the belt. Uh, maybe the company didn't like his performance against Joseph Benavidez. I don't know. But this kid is good, man. I'll give him his credit. This kid's a good fighter. And, um, I mean, he could give, uh, you know, Alex Perez some problems, man. He's beating Pantoja. Um, you know, he's beating Tim Elliott and he's beating jo uh, Joseph Benavidez. And he's looked... Good, um, but you know, I, I thought Brandon Moreno beat him the first time, so I, you know, I don't know how badly I want to see a rematch between those guys, but um, I know I remember my boy, Fue my boy Fuego sent me something called Perez a bum. I don't know if I think Perez is a bum, I know he got caught by Figueredo, but you know, um, I never met Perez, but I know Perez, you know, he coached for uh, Soma High School's wrestling team. I'm pretty cool with some of the kids over there when I wrestled uh, back in the day. So um, if I'm being honest, I, I might have some bias. And I don't know, man. I, I'm kind of tired of these Dagestani guys thinking that they're the best wrestlers of all time. So, you know, Perez is a good fighter. He has really good wrestling. He's good striking, good leg kicks. You know, he boxes. Well, he doesn't box, but he's he's close with uh, Teofimo Lopez. If you don't know who he is, he's a good boxer. <laughs> I'll just say that. Um, and, you know... I mean, the kid, he's a good fighter. I think he just kind of got caught by Figueredo. I don't think that fight goes that way, you know, 9 out of 10 times, right? So, I, I, you know, I, I don't know, man. 
I'm actually going to take Perez. I just think he's a, a good enough wrestler to keep it on the feet. And on the feet, I think he's better, you know. So, you know, we're going to see what Askar Askarov got, man. We're gonna, he's going to have to he's going to prove me he's going to have to prove me wrong today. You know, but, you know, I saw him get dropped bad against Moreno. I don't I don't I'm not I'm not too high on this kid, man. And um nothing against the guy, but it is what it is. But, you know, I saved the best for last. I saved the heavyweights. The return of my favorite heavyweight, <laughs> Curtis Blades versus Jorginho Rosenstrike will take place September 25th, UFC 266. Now, obviously, put quotation marks when I say my favorite heavyweight. But, um, you know, this channel, man, I, I think it's almost synonymous with Curtis Blades, man. Um, I, it's funny, man. I... I it's hard it's hard to talk about Curtis right now you know I obviously you know I predicted Derek to beat him and I mean you know obviously I don't want to gloat too much but so many people were against me and um you know I I saw the holes in Curtis's game um you know he hinges he's has very obvious takedown entries you know he's winning a lot of these fights by athleticism the Volkov fight Junior Dos Santos you know but even Junior kind of exposed him a little bit because he went like I mean, like, 0 for 6 or 0 for 7 or 0 for 8, I remember, on takedowns. He didn't take Junior. He couldn't take Junior down. He beat Junior in the striking. But, um, I mean, the kid's been getting exposed. I, 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 knew, I knew somebody was going to hurt him one day. I knew Derek was going to be that guy. Obviously, I thought Volkov and Junior could give him problems, but they, didn't, they weren't able to do it. Volkov got – he was close, I remember, in that fight. But, you know, Curtis, he has some problems. Um, but Jarzinho, I mean, he's shown that his inability to grapple um, at, a, at a high level. So it's a good matchup for Curtis. But here's the thing. My point is, you know, everyone, all of you guys, you know, and I'm, I'm all my subscribers. So none of you guys get a pass for this. And no, none of you. Maybe actually TJ Kill. I remember he was with me. But everyone picked Curtis. I, I'm positive, right? Here's what I got to say. Don't turn on this guy now. Because now it make, I feel bad for Curtis. Because all you guys turn on him, calling him a bum, when you was calling him the future champ. And to me, that's that's beta male. You know, that is non-alpha. You know, that is, you know, it's just, it's non-eBay-like too, you know. <laughs> like, you can't you can't do that, man. And it's, I, I, it's sad to see that people are calling him, that probably picked him, right? It's sad to see someone go out like that, and um, you know, obviously I'm talking about the prank call. Uh, it's it's not right, you know. You know, we gotta lift this guy up, and I, I think I'm starting to feel bad for Curtis. So I, you know, and I think he can win this matchup. At the end of the day, Curtis, I didn't like him, and I, I didn't hate him because of his style. I, I didn't think he was a bad fighter. I, I I thought he had entertaining fights. I didn't think he was that boring. Um, you know, I will say that to him, but I just felt like, um, you know, he had some holes and he, he kind of got a little arrogant, you know, near the, you know, you know, near his time to fight, uh, Derek Lewis. And he was talking a lot of mess and he, he, everything he got that day was beautiful. He got everything he deserved, but after on social media, that was a little effed up and, uh, I didn't like that. So. You know, I think Curtis Blaze wins this, and I, you know, I, and, I, and I say it, man. Uh, when I see these guys, you know, I consider them almost enemies, right? You know, Curtis, Adesanya, right? Who else? Nate Diaz, you know, Nate, enemies of the channel, right? Um, there's other people, Jorge Masvidal. When these guys go out sad and they get knocked out, you know, the enemy has been taken care of, and you know, you don't you don't beat up, uh, you know, a dead animal, right? You just it's it's wrong. So, I, I got nothing bad to say about Curtis. Uh, hopefully, he takes this, man. Um, hopefully, he learns from those mistakes. And I, I think that he's a good kid, man. But, you know, you got you to gotta learn the hard way sometimes. And he had to learn the hard way. And I think, uh, I think it's this time to rise like a phoenix now. You know, from the ashes, it's time to rise. And I hope the kiddo does well. Uh, I hope the kid, uh, you know, I wish him well. And I, I hope he improves on his wrestling entries. I hope he stops hinging. I know he's a wrestler. You know, he got. He ha I know he has a penetration step, and he, he should work on these things. I want him work. I, I thought, you know, what's crazy is Curtis Blades. He's so close to Trevor Whitman. I want him to work with that guy, man. Honestly, you know, that's my one advice for Curtis. 
you got to work with him. I just I feel like his boxing uh, and his you know striking it, it it doesn't transition well to his wrestling. I, I'm just I've always thought it has it's looked a little goofy. So um, you know I feel like he, if he ends up working with him, just you know tighten some things up. May, maybe you can make a can get a shot to that title. But um, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. If you're new, subscribe. Go click the notification button. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I think I said that twice. But it is what it is. Share the video. Let's get this eBay Fight Prediction Nation growing. Love y'all. And goodbye.